Abductive reasoning is a logical process used to make the best possible explanation based on incomplete or limited information. It involves forming a hypothesis that best fits the available evidence, even though it may not be guaranteed to be correct. Unlike deductive reasoning, which leads to definite conclusions, and inductive reasoning, which generalises from specific cases, abductive reasoning focuses on making educated guesses. It is often used in problem solving, scientific discovery, and everyday decision making when there is uncertainty. Because abductive reasoning relies on the most likely explanation, rather than absolute proof, it is especially useful in situations where quick conclusions are needed. Now let's look at some examples of abductive reasoning in action. One example of abductive reasoning is a doctor diagnosing a patient. If a patient has a fever, sore throat and fatigue, the doctor may conclude that they have the flu because it is the most likely explanation, even though other illnesses could cause similar symptoms. Another example is a detective investigating a crime. If someone is found near the scene with stolen items, the detective may infer that they committed the crime, even though other explanations, such as finding the items, are possible. In everyday life, people use abductive reasoning when they hear a loud noise in their house and assume it is the wind rather than an intruder because wind is the more common cause. Now let's examine some strengths of abductive reasoning. One strength of abductive reasoning is that it allows people to make quick and reasonable decisions in uncertain situations. Since real-life problems often lack complete information, abductive reasoning helps individuals form the best possible explanations based on what they know. Another strength is that it plays a key role in scientific discovery. Scientists often start with observations and generate hypotheses that explain what they see, which can later be tested through further research. Additionally, abductive reasoning is flexible, allowing for multiple possible explanations that can be revised if new evidence emerges. This adaptability makes it useful in fields like medicine, law and artificial intelligence, where conclusions must be drawn from incomplete data. However, abductive reasoning also has some weaknesses. One weakness of abductive reasoning is that it does not guarantee correct conclusions. Because it relies on the best possible guess rather than definitive proof, there is always a chance that the explanation is wrong. Another challenge is that people can be influenced by bias when using abductive reasoning. If someone already believes a certain explanation, they may overlook other possibilities, leading to incorrect assumptions. Additionally, abductive reasoning can be unreliable when there are multiple explanations that fit the evidence equally well, making it difficult to determine which one is correct. These weaknesses highlight the limitations of abductive reasoning and why it should be used carefully. Now let's consider some alternative approaches. One alternative to abductive reasoning is deductive reasoning, which draws conclusions from general principles and guarantees logical certainty. For example, if all birds have feathers and a robin is a bird, then a robin must have feathers. Another alternative is inductive reasoning, which makes generalizations based on specific observations. If someone sees many swans and all of them are white, they may conclude that all swans are white, even though exceptions may exist. A third alternative is probabilistic reasoning, which uses statistical analysis to determine the likelihood of an event or explanation being true. While abductive reasoning is useful for forming hypotheses, these alternatives provide different ways of reasoning depending on the situation. 